Hello and welcome to MMB Air Gun Review. We have been over this particular DPMS Panther Arms SBR before. Um, video quality was not too good back then and I would like to give you some higher definition pictures of this gun or videos because, well, frankly the gun's worth it. Maybe you've been on the fence about purchasing one of these uh, due to the polymer construction and you weren't sure and you thought you were getting maybe uh, too much of a kid's toy. So we'll go over this real quick and then I'm going to give you some nice close-up video of the gun in a little bit higher definition. This particular gun is built really well. The DPMS and as well as the Bushmaster, uh, which is very similar to this, they have outstanding build qualities. And they're put together pretty well, especially for the price. Now this is a full auto and semi-auto blowback BB gun that, that functions off of a dual 12 gram system setup. Um, and it functions really good. It's capable of a 1400 round per minute rate if you can change the magazines fast enough and you have enough of them loaded and ready to go. I have no reason to doubt that because the gun shoots like a sewing machine. It really does. Um, it's never jammed up on me once and I haven't had any freeze up issues on me with this gun either, even in full auto, which was quite outstanding to me. But not to say it's not going to happen, I guess it's going to depend on the climate you live in too. If you're shooting in the cold, it might freeze up on you. The gun is made of a really, really high quality polymer. And what I mean by that is it's, it's a very durable polymer. It does not scratch easy. And the finish of the polymer and the edging of the Picatinny rails is not cheap. It's very defined. And there's been many accessories on this gun and it's not all gouged up, which is something you can't say about a lot of polymers. So the polymer quality of this entire gun is very good. It does have a polymer flash hider. Um, a lot of people don't cover that when they do their reviews on this, but it is polymer and it does, it is a uh, reverse thread. You can change this out and you can put a mock suppressor on it if you would like to, which is pretty cool. But this, this uh, flash hider itself, you don't know it's polymer, it's built well. It is built very well and you do not know it's polymer until you actually get it in your hand. Um, to look at it, it looks well, goes with the gun very well. Um, metal barrel, of course, and it does the internals to this gun are, are where it really shines. Um, metal magazine drops out, does have a working port, um, ejection port does work. That is aluminum, charging handle is functional, opens it. It does have a functioning bolt lock on it, which is really nice and does function on the side over here. Just like a standard AR-15, hit it, closes the bolt, pull the trigger, shoots. Everything works the way it's supposed to. The bolt does cycle when you shoot the gun. Very, very nice gun. Um, the forward assist, unfortunately, does not push forward. I wish at least they had a spring where it did make it, you know, push forward for muscle memory if you are training with this gun. Um, for backyard training, anything like that. At least, at least when you're doing it, you can practice a little muscle memory there. But the stock is super nice. I do like the stock on this one over the, D, the, uh, the Bushmaster simply because it's more of a mag pull style, but this is not changeable with a standard AR stock like the Bushmaster version is, although aesthetically this is much better solid feel and um, it does, does look a lot better too. Does have a rounded trigger well for gloves, which is great if you're shooting it in the cold. Like I said before, it does have a standard AR style pistol grip that is textured and you can change it with any other AR style compatible AR style pistol grip. It's just a simple Phillips head and there is no spring to lose on the inside. So you don't have to worry about if you take this off, a little spring going flying anywhere. So that's good. Um, I've not had any issues with this gun at all. It does break apart. It does come apart just like a normal... Um, AR-15, and we can actually do that right now. We can pull our pins and pull it apart. We can do that. There we go. And you have this mechanism here that always comes out. But it's very well built, very well put together. Even the uh, upper has a just, you take it apart and you'll feel the quality. Even the forward grip on it, the angled forward grip is of decent quality. The lower, if you're looking to see inside, does have does have a buffer tube in it, by the way, so it does give you that recoil when you shoot it. And as you can see, the machining on the trigger group and everything on the inside, which is one cartridge unit, is outstanding. 
This is something that you are definitely, definitely going to like. Um, if you have any questions on it, just drop it in the comment section below. But right now I'm going to bring you some close-ups of the gun so you can really check it out. Thanks for watching. Be right back. Okay, we'll start right here at the end of the barrel. This is the flash hider, which always had a lot of questions because people simply did not know what it was made of, and it is polymer. But it's a really nice polymer, and it does look good. It does have flip-up sights. The flip-up sights are also polymer. Polymer rail, coarse metal barrel. Forward grip, nice and angled, does fit well. I actually have two of these. I ordered another one and it's on the Virtus. Metal ejection port does have a bolt and a mock bolt and carrier inside that does function and blow back. I did put some gun skids on the mag well. And of course your magazine, which is metal. And we do have a faux forward assist. Rear sight. A very nice textured AR style grip. And these are interchangeable with other grips if you're curious. And you don't have to worry about losing a spring. There is no spring inside of these, so you can change that. We'll work around here to the stock adjustable position. Very well made, very, very sturdy. You will not be dissatisfied with that stock for sure. And your functioning charging handle, which you do need to use to charge the gun. We'll go right to the other side now. And here is the other side. Again, a look at the flash hider. Angle forward grip. And very nice detail on the rail system. Definitely very, very nice. For polymer, this is definitely A+. Plus. The weight of this gun is amazing also. There's not a lot of disappointments out there that people claim on these. I mean, these are just very tried and true gun. The bolt does lock back. It is functioning. And there is our Pew Pew selector for safe, full auto, and semi-auto. This did come with a scope, a red dot. I have taken that off, and it is on the SIG. It's got a nice extended trigger guard for wearing gloves. And this gun fun functions flawlessly. It's a beautiful gun. One of the better... Uh, Definitely one of the better CO2 guns. It does take a dual cartridge system. And it does have a great rate of fire. Okay, and now we'll take a quick peek inside at the internal internals of this. This is your mag well. This is your drop-in trigger block. Very well made. Very well machined. Here is your buffer tube, and yes, does have the standard buffer tube stop on it and everything functions quite nicely here is your upper and your bolt now this mechanism right here you always want to make sure if you do take these apart that it goes back in just like that with that wedge facing forward and if you don't do that it simply will not fire, so you'll know it's not right. Um, when you take these guns apart, a lot of times, as you can see in the first initial one, that this fell out. So you always want to know what direction this goes in, because it does fit, as you can see, it does fit both ways, but you don't get that spring effect there. So, as you can see, you want it to go here, and you'll have that springy effect. Make sure you got it like that. There's just a good look at the bottom of the gun. Some more close-up detail, mag release, there's your pins, your switch for the stock, yeah, you're not going to go wrong if you get this for sure, maybe a nice close-up of the mag in here too. And I've had zero issues with this gun, this is, these mag magazines are quite heavy. They are open in the front, so you can see the BBs in there. These are running Hornaday's. 
And there you go. That's it. DPMS Panther Arms.